Hi, welcome to the AWARC May 2023 news announcement for figures open for pre-orders. Alright, let's start with a big one. We have a Vasta Stampede from Trigun, Artifact J18 figure scale. I'm just loving the look of this. So it's a great pose. You can even swap it out with head scope with, with or without glasses. I'm just loving this stylized backdrop in the background. Both from behind, it doesn't look as correct. So maybe it doesn't display it from that angle. But the coat looks really nice with lots of movement. This will go quite nicely with the Vasta Stampede pop up parade that was open for pre-order from last month. Continuing on with scale figures, we have a Chainsaw Man from Sega S5 figure range. It's looking really gritty with this paint finish, but with the pose and the arms hold quite close together, I'm not sure if I really like that. A quick comparison with the Code of I Artifact J, Chainsaw Man Death Wall figure, has a much more dominant movement, with this one, the shirt is unbuttoned, and lots of movement there. And I think overall, it feels like the backdrop is, has a much nicer finish and looks much nicer to look at. Once you have a much anticipated pop up parade, you finally have a painted Marquis there from Stargates. Gates. Looking really amazing. Especially if you always wanted a figure of her, but not too keen on doing one of the scales. That costs a lot. The carpet is already open for pre order, so probably good to take them both together. Move on to some Demon Slayer. We have a Kenya Vibration Star. Sorry, Illness, okay, still no Vibration Star for you. You're still not welcome into the Vibration Star Club. And also a Jiro Kawa Vibration Stars as well. Looking really amazing. It would be great to pair this up with the Tengen Vibration Star as well. Alright, a new series that I've been watching Hell's Paradise. I've been checking out some of the figures. There's a Gabilalu Noodle Stopper, as well as a Vibration Stars, as well as a DXF as one as well. So quite a few to choose from. And, and there's already been scales announced for this series. We have the Gabi Malu 1 7 scale, part of the F next figure line from Fulu, in the weird dynamic pose with, the, with his ninjutsu. But I'm a bit concerned with boards that do stand out quite a lot in the prototype stage. There's also one of the fan favorite Yusu Liha, I really like in the Paradise Tree that's just seen on with the flowers. And there's also one of my favorite of Sakili, with an elegant pose with the effects flying up. And has also a vibration star of her as well. We're loving this pose, which is good nicely with the Gabi Malu. There's also been an announcement of a Fuchi vibration star and Xion. Man, so many features coming out for Hell's Paradise. Let me know in the comments below if you're watching that series. Alright, let's look at some of the Jujutsu Kaisen prize figures. We have one of Gojo from the Jujutsu no Wase version 2 and there's also now version 3 as well. There's the player Gojo you can collect. It's a Junko Natata of Mei Mei and I have the teachers. There are quite a few teachers now. King of Artists of Ghetto Young Version. We're excited for season 2. Hey, now onto some Naruto. We have a really cool Naruto memorable saga of Naruto. I think this is my, all the way back to the first episode or two. I really liked in the Ninja Smoke and Naruto holding the, the giant scroll. There's two of well, the siblings of Sasuke and Itachi. These are the Colosseum figures, so they're quite a lot bigger and also cost a little bit more as well. This looks like from the epic battle they both had. And another great pairing, we have a young Takashi and young Orbito with Vibration Stars. I am really thinking about then these two. It's such a iconic duo. And just loving the pose they have of them. On to something a bit more lighthearted. We have a Shinchan and Shilo in an ice cream clone. Part of the ice cream collection from Crane and Shinchan. Shilo even has doggy pictures on his head. <laughs> I do really want a Shilo figure, but I'm not sure this is the one to get. The one of Billy's Bug. From Sandland, one of Akira Todama, Dragon Ball frame figure. There's a 3D anime movie coming out soon, so it'll be great to have the rest of the crew and the tanks. And speaking of Dragon Ball, there's a Goten figure. I, I don't think I've seen any Goten figures, let alone an older Goten. It'll be great to complete the family together. There's near Chichi figure now. Come on, Banfesto, you can do it. And on to some Tokyo Revengers prize figures. You have the Mikey Break Time collection. There's already been one of Dragon Kun and Takashi. Man, these are the little pretty awesome ones to have all of them together. They stay well all together. It's one set. And there's more of the Kino Artists. We have one of Chifuyu, which goes well with the other three that's already announced. This also will look really cool to have them all together. So it's a great action pose. And they're also quite big as well. And finish up with a bang. We have a Edward Elwick and Alphonse Elwick Brothers figure. This is from Proof. I don't think I've heard of this studio, but this looks incredible. I especially love how, how Alphonse is interacting with the cats in this one. And the scope of Edward looks really nice. Looks more aligned with the manga and really metallic, but soft finish on an Alphonse looks really nice as well. 
but this will set you back a whopping 397 US. So yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, pre-ordering this one. If you have found this video useful, please leave a like. And that concludes for May 2023. Anime Freeze open for pre-doors. News announcement. <laughs> See you next video. Bye.